Hello folks, we're back with more of the best games from the Lidum Dare 40 Game Jam, starting with Booty Looter. Uh, this one's downloadable just for the background song alone, which is brilliant. So I'll probably shut up a bit. Got to collect the booty though. Oh, yeah, you can double jump. Here we go. Yes. Is that a shark? So the rafts seem to get more and more distressed as we go along. So I've got to be careful. Although not too bad though. It does seem to be fairly round. Oh, that, that one's a tiny little one. As you can see, the old rafts do disappear. Got a... Look how many bloody things I've got. Hang on, what's going on? Oh dear, hang on. This is getting a bit more frantic now. I think things are getting a bit faster. There you are. Oh my god, okay. Look how many things I've got. Oh no! I didn't double tap in time. Yeah, it's double tap to double jump, which is a bit of a pain. <laughs> 16! Alright. Um, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> listen, you could just like um, now just listen to the background song. It's it's it sounds like drunken ramblings, improvisations, but it is actually very funny. This is 10 inches or fewer, Mrs. So you basically got to puzzle your way across the board to get into the exit, the green one. But uh, there's a thing, there's a little twist, that every time you collect a little bit of water, you grow bigger. And if you grow too big, you can't go down the pipes and maybe you'll even explode like that. So you've got to be careful how you do things. So let's try not get too big. Uh, also, look, I'm also leaving bits behind when I'm on clear spaces. So there we go, teleport across there. Then I just need to get to the green thing, but I've grown a bit big, so I just need to use up all my water. And there we go. Very straightforward, but of course, inevitably, as you start getting up through the levels, things start getting a little bit more tricky. I'm up to seven inches, missus. So let's actually get rid of all that, go through the, the four-inch pipe. Okay, we've got a long way to go now, so let's, um, let's hope for the best. There we go, use it all up. Level 5. Oh no, things are getting a bit more watery now. So I've got to stay within 4 inches. So let's just use up all my goo over here. We should be able to get through. Teleport over. Oh lads, this is going to be tricky. Alright, let's try and use up as much as I can. Then cross like that. Oh, that's really straightforward. That's fine. Oh no, okay. So let's try and use up all the clear spaces as good we can. And hopefully... Let's try and go up that way round. Then we can go round here, use up all our goo, and in we pipe we go. Uh, yeah, nothing too challenging so far, because I'm great. Uh, now we just need to go... I reckon we need to use things up like that. Oh! No. Huh. Things have... St oh, hang on. Let's... Hmm. Oh, no, I can't go through there. Maybe I have to go back the way I came. Hang on. Let's try and use up a bit more of my goo. Oh, there's too much goo here now. I'm never going to be able to get there. Let's restart. Something went wrong there. Right, hang on. Try and get rid of all my stuff over here before I go through the pipe. Then, that's a, that's a bit of a waste, isn't it? Okay, let's just try and do this. Oh, that's, yeah, it's dead easy. I overcomplicated things at first. Hmm. <laughs> that was a little bit of a trap, wasn't it? Right, okay, that's fine. Let's go around the long way. The long way sucks! Right, okay, this time what I'll do is I'll try and clean up that... Mm. I need to clean a space, don't I? Well, that should work. That should not work. Oh, no. Actually, this is getting trickier. This is getting trickier. Right. Try it like this. Go around like this. I have a strategy plan. It's great, it is. Uh oh. This is fine. What we'll do is we'll go around here and in the back way. Yes! Oh, I'm doing well. 
I like this a lot. I hope, uh, I'm not sure how many levels there are, but um, I could keep playing this for quite a while. Slightly annoying traffic. And this one started with a bang on Lumda, in the sense that it got so many ratings very early on that it got out of hand. Um, it turns out it's actually quite a nice, straightforward, simple little one-screen affair where you simply click on cars to stop them and start them again. And the point of this is not to make them crash, because otherwise things get a little rogue. The physics are, of course, brilliant and fun. And the thing is with this is the whole real fun of it is not to try and successfully do this, but it's to crash and then watch everything go completely nuts for ages. Uh, yes, notionally it's a scoring game where you just seem to just have to keep on going and going, but I just want to watch them all crash. Well, this is going to slow down massively, isn't it? What this could really do with is a fast forward button so you could really get all the glamour of smashing, oh my god, everything to bits. <laughs> all right. Well, let's actually try, and, oh my god, let's try, let's try, actually try and play this play this properly and actually get a score if you indeed you actually get a score in this you'll get there's a zero at the top so that should be a thing okay let's wait make him wait that should be okay eventually if you stop a car eventually it will go again which is important to notice so you there's a certain amount of management going on i've actually I've got 100 points already how time flies 200 yes all right 400 this is the um the highest score i've ever got in anything right Nothing's actually dangerous at the moment. Oh, wait, wait hang on, this is dangerous. Oh, there we go. That's fine. I probably should have stopped that car. The one car instead of both cars. Okay, we're settling down now. There we go. For a bit of a long haul. This is going to get rogue. So let's... Yep, there we go. That's nice and straightforward so far. But of course, things do get a bit more frantic as time goes on. Yeah, things are getting a bit faster now. It's important to notice in this, um, from a gameplay point of view, is that the cars don't sort of like them. They actually do accelerate and brake quite good, so we actually have to do plan ahead a bit. Like, when I cl we click on this, it won't just, like, suddenly shoot off. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh! <laughs> so you have to take that into account. Things won't just bang off in this, into the distance. They oh, no! It is noticeable in the game that as soon as you actually do crash, the game does chuck in absolutely loads of cars all at once, just so you can have the satisfaction of watching them all break into one another. So it's a nice little idea, this. I'm not quite sure why it got so many millions of ratings on the, on the thing. We'll see how it does actually when the, when the voting actually finishes, but it's it's a fun little diversion for a few minutes. Um, I just wish it like escalated a bit quicker, uh, just so you'd have to sit through this, the, um, the slower, earlier bits. But yeah, it's very neat and very funny already. This is Be Yourself, a natty little action game uh, that looks a bit Edmund McMillan-ish, possibly a little World of Goo-ish, but is um, nothing like those at all. So I'm just going to select... Ooh, I'll select him. The whole point of this is to make the black balls that fire at you go into your holes. And the orange things blow things up. If things don't go into the holes, they become attached to you. Uh, and that's not good. Look, um, society is transforming me. I mean, there is a big message at the start of this, the, in the intro, about how society warps you into some hideous monster. Even though I look a bit like um, some sort of cute Angry Birds type thing. Oh, look, I've got arms. Hang on. you. Oh, 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 get rid of the... Get, oh, go using the orange things to my advantage. Obviously, the worse you do, the harder the game actually gets as well, because things speed up, more things get thrown at you, and very soon, you're doomed. Let's actually restart that. It's actually quite difficult, this, because, yeah, things do go fast very quickly. And the shape of the screen is quite small, so you don't get much time to react. Although, at the moment, I'm doing okay. Your holes turn out to be reasonably large. Misses. Oh, God damn it. No. Right. So it's a case of using the orange things as much as you can. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. And hoping for the best, really. Oh, no. my One of my holes is clogged. Uh, get the bleach out, lads. Oh. 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 I developed an arm. Ah. Let's change my character. You seem to unlock these as you, as you get higher and higher scores. There we go. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I've got to rotate all the way back to the beginning again. Let's go for the... Let's go for the screaming abdabs at the end. Oh, let's just go for that one. I mean, it's some <laughs> not that much of an important thing. Oh, oh God, don't throw an orange one at first. Oh, no! That was too fast. Oh, no, this is... Oh, God, I'm not even... Oh, God, I've got one in my hole. Uh, all right. No, I'm... no, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe I should do it this way. If I if I do it this way, that means... Because the, the verticals are the harder ones to... Oh, dear, I've messed it up. The vertical ones are the harder ones to do because there's less distance. So if I always align myself vertically, that means my action time should improve. 
But, you know, <laughs> that was my str- Ah, oh, dick, as soon as things go- Oh, no. <laughs> actually, I was starting- I was actually starting to recover that. But then things- Oh, God! Things started to go a bit- Ah! Oh, no, my arm is going- Oh, look at my arm. <laughs> look at my stupid, fat, bloody arm. Ah, uh, no, no, society, no! Ah, you prick! Um, society will transform you into a hideous monster. Obviously, this dev has been on Twitter. This is the rubber robbery. So this is a single screen action shooter type thing where basically you're robbing the place and you've got to shoot out these little rubber band balls. And every time they hit one of the machines, they'll spew out loot, which I have to pick up, uh, which is fine. But I think we need a few more balls. So because we've only got 20 more seconds before the presumably the fuzz show up. So shoot out a few more balls. But the more balls you, you shoot out, the harder it gets because it, oh, there we go. If you get hit by a rubber ball that bounces around all over the shop, you actually get stunned for a while. So it's a case of risk reward. How many bullets are you going to fire out? Oh God, um, I think that's it. I think we've got one second left. Oh, that's a big loot. Right, so how many did I get that time? Always hide the loot. Oh, no, the police are here! Yep. So let's see. What did I get? 552 quid! That's pretty piss. So I'll go to the minimal security prison. That's fine. You will sleep here until you throw every coin. Oh, I'm in prison. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, well done, mate. Right, let's start shooting. <laughs> right. I didn't realise there was actually going to be a second level. <laughs> right, come on. Got you. Careful, careful. Ah! Dicks. Right, so I've got myself an escape pass, so let's actually run out of here. Ha. Huh. 552 quid. So that's interesting. There's actually a second bonus kind of level thing um, before you actually restart. Huh. Alright. Let's get going again. This time, let's try and beat 552 quid. Let's actually... Let's try and get a bit of a thing going. Oh, bollocks. Right. Shoot loads of balls out. Uh, that little PUBG reference. Okay. And now let's actually go try and actually get the things. Now we're actually set up a nice... Oh, careful. That's some... That's... Ah! Alright. Right, careful, 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 careful. Right, oh god, there's so many... Oh, it's, there's so much loot down here. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, ah! I've buggered myself. Okay, come on, quick, grab all this loot, 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 grab, grab, grab. Yep, that was a serious amount of grabbage. What the hell is this, say the police? I've got almost 10,000 monies. Wow. Right, this time I, I suspect I'm going to go to a maximum security prison. Okay, this might get a little tough. Oh, it's exactly the same. <laughs> you will sleep here until you throw every coin. Look behind you. Oh, here we go. Three-headed monkey again. And me. Right. Off we go. Get you. There we go. That's actually very straightforward. Oh, no. Oh, ladsism. Yep. Yeah, maximum security does turn out to be a thing. Right. Get you. Careful. And get you. There. There's the, sp there's the pass. Right. Wait for the bullets. And we've got one more with three lads this time. Oh, that shouldn't be too difficult. And... There's a bit of a delay. Every time you fire, because it's a shotgun, there's a bit of time for it to fire. So you have to almost like plan out your moves a bit more in advance. 9451. That's a bit more like it. And for some reason he seems to be sat on the toilet, surrounded by his loot and some bog roll. <laughs> it's the attention to detail in these games which I, I like the most. Okay, you can play all the games in this video by following the links in the description. If you enjoyed the video, check out my Ludum Dare 40 playlist, and please consider subscribing to Randomised User, or support my Patreon so I can keep covering this amazing game jam and all the best new indie games around. See you next time!